Hi, I wanted to jump on here today. As we know, we are in the holiday season. And unfortunately, in the DMV area and many areas all across the U.S., there is a carjacking trend going on. And as a victim of carjacking, um, I was carjacked in 2021 in Washington, D.C., I wanted to come on and just give you all a few tips about how I am keeping myself safe now. I must be honest and say that um, I already had a passion for doing something like this, but my timeline as, as of late with people constantly talking about it and trying to get tips out there, I figured why not? Come on, do a video and let's talk about it. Let's talk about those tips that we are not getting from local law enforcement. So let's get right into it. The first thing I now do is I never have my keys in my hand. If you look at carjacking videos, there are always keys in people's hands. So fortunately for me, my car is a push start, but when they carjack me, all of my keys was in one bundle. So now I keep my car key and my house key separate. So I always, if my car leaves, I always still have my house key. Um, but if you have a push start car, keep that key put away in your pocket or in your lady pocket, whatever you have to do. Um, unfortunately, even though I'm a black woman, I'm going to be honest. Teens wear a mask. I don't care if it's daytime, nighttime, if it. If they're standing outside of a grocery store, I wait until there's a lot of people coming out the store at one time and I'm getting out of there. I'm not going anywhere around them alone because you don't know where their friends may be placed across the parking lot, across the shopping center. Um, stay off of your phones when you're coming out of stores. Again, let me say this. Stay off of your phones when you're coming out of stores. Why? You're looking down at your phone. Somebody's looking at you, looking the, at that you're alone or that it's only a couple of you females laughing and playing. You are not aware of your surroundings. They're looking at you. You're not looking at them. Ladies, stop digging in your pocketbooks, looking for those keys. Do that when you're in the line at the store. Do not look down. Somebody could be very well watching you and you are um, the target. Um, when you come out of your house in the morning or your apartment in the morning, stop going straight to your car. Stand there like you're waiting on a ride and slightly listen for cars idling. That's what happened to me. I came out, somebody was sitting in the parking lot that I didn't even see, didn't pay any attention to. Listen for cars idling. Unfortunately, even though we have auto start, stop using it because you've just told a carjacker or a robber that somebody's about to come out and get in that car. I don't even hit my alarm to let people know what car I'm going to. When I hit my alarm, I'm up on my door and that's when somebody knows what car I'm getting in. As soon as I get in my car, I lock my door. I don't care if I have an arm full of stuff. I throw it in the passenger seat. I lock my door immediately. Um, another thing, watch who's watching you when you're in the stores. I had a situation recently. I was in a grocery store and realized this young lady was following me and she wasn't grocery shopping. And then she, when she saw me looking at her, she asked me a random question that made no sense to the area we were in. By the time I got to the checkout counter, I had a whole conversation on the phone with somebody and guess what? No one was on the phone. I was telling my husband to pick me up and yeah, where's your dad? Tell him to pick because I needed her to know that I was not alone. Ladies, gentlemen, please stop texting at lights. Stop texting at lights. Use those mirrors. Somebody could be running up on you, right? Stop putting your head down and focusing on every. When you are out driving, be vigilant, be ready. Keep your head and your eyes up. It is not time to scroll social media when you're at the light. Um, stop. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have air tags and tiles all over my car. Not one or the other, both. Why? I have them stuck down in the seats like it's changed that has, so if they find one, um, there's another one in there. They're in the 
owner's manual. They're in the back tires, uh, spare tires way in the trunk. Why? Because I need to be able to come home and ask Alexa where my car is, right? These are the things that I am utilizing. If I don't have to carry a purse, I don't carry a purse. I don't even keep my phone in my hand when I'm walking through parking lots. I put it in my pocket or in my girl pocket and I keep it moving. Why? Because Somebody may want to steal your iPhone or your new Android or whatever it is. These kids nowadays have no rhyme or rhythm why they are doing what they are doing. If you live in an apartment or a home and you're right in front of um, and you have to park around the corner because there's no parking because maybe your neighbor is having an event or you just have a tight parking lot, pull in front of your building, double park unload those purses those groceries those shopping bags so that when you walk back to your home you are you your hands are free like i said you've got your key put up you've got your phone put up it's just nothing but you getting out of your car when you're about to get out of your car look around see if some random people are standing around i'm not trying to make you paranoid i'm just telling you how we have to stay safe especially as single women or women or people just functioning alone uh, out in these streets. It's terrible out here. It's sad that we can't use our auto starts, our alarms. It's sad that we can't text somebody coming out of a store and say, hey, I'm on my way home or I'm on my way here. It's sad that we can't carry all of our cute pocketbooks like we used to or be lavished in all the jewelry that's sitting at home now. We have got to stay safe. And this video is a little longer than what I wanted it to be, but I just felt that it was high time for me to open my mouth and tell people just how to say, oh, I almost forgot this. Um, your uh, back windows in front, stop rolling your windows down. Why are you rolling your windows? I know it's nice some days and you just want to feel kind of like the heat in the, but you're giving somebody a up on you, a jump on you. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'll open my, I'm more apt to open my sunroof and leave my windows, um, rolled up. So that is something else that I, I do to stay safe. On the back end, yes, I do. I'm a ride share driver. I do lift on the side. Um, if, your picture is not on there. You're a new driver. I'm more apt to cancel. Yes, I'm going to keep me safe. You want me to sit outside and wait for you five minutes in your neighborhood, but you don't want to be outside when I'm arriving, and it took me five to seven minutes to get there. Um, safety goes on both ends, both sides. I'm just trying to keep everyone safe during this holiday season. Um, stop everybody's car insurance from rising sky high. Carjacking is so horrible um i forgot also oh my goodness i forgot to mention gas stations i am one that i go into a gas station that has a police presence if the gas station doesn't have a police presence i always make sure i go into a gas station with a mart why because i pay for my gas and then I go out and put the pump in and I go back in and watch my gas get pumped. I don't want anybody riding by seeing me just standing there waiting for my gas or seeing me use a card that they can take from me. You know, I don't want anybody seeing how I pay for my transactions. And then I go out, snatch my, my, the gas pump out, jump in my car and I pull off, um, Put your purses on the floor. Lock those doors. I don't care if you're getting out just to shut your trunk. Cut your car off. Lock your doors. Stay safe, everybody. I wish you a great holiday season. I'm sorry that this video is as long as it is, but I had a lot of information to give you about staying safe during this holiday season. I wish you the best. God bless you and your family, and may the peace of God encamp and the safety encamp you and your family. Have a wonderful holidays.